So let's have a look at creating a basic keyframe animation. So from the wizard here, selecting keyframe, and I'm just going to start a large banner uh, animation. Whereas in stop frame animations, you have to specify each specific frame and the position of every item on that frame, uh, every fraction of a second, say every tenth of a second. What you do with keyframe animation is you specify the location of certain objects at key points in the animation, which is where it gets its name from, keyframe animation. You have some frames, some keyframes, where you define um, what's happening at those points and then the software will move the shapes, objects, words, whatever they are, uh, from one frame to the next frame itself automatically. So let's start uh, by having a look at a very simple one. If I start by creating um, a ball and moving that across the screen. So here I'm selecting one, creating a red fill color and no uh, line color, so transparent line. If I drag one out here, uh, if you hold down the shift key while you're drawing it, it will force it to be a circle. Now, when it comes to inserting a new frame, a new keyframe, uh, if I just want to move the ball from the left hand side of this animation to the right hand side in say one second, um, I only need to put in one keyframe and that one uh, keyframe needs to take a second to get there. So if I say OK to that, I now have two frames down here and if on my second frame I move, select and then move the ball to its new location, you'll see it's got its starting location here, the path it's going to take and its end position. And if I hit the green arrow down here to preview it, uh, that will generate uh, a simple animation. Starts at the location in this frame on the left and ends this location on the frame on the right.